transparency in Flash. Now, we've looked at moving things, we've looked at masking things, we've looked at morphing things, we've looked at animating within animations. One thing that we can also do in Flash is we can make things fade out or we can give them a transparency as they go. So, you know, here's what I prepared earlier. I've already created a symbol of a circle, which I'm just going to drag onto my stage. So there's my circle all set up. Now I'm going to show you how to fade the circle out. This can be used to give a transparent effect to any lighting or object that you would like to make see-through. So we're going to insert a frame at the end where we want our animation to finish. Right click and create a motion tween. Select your last frame, because this is where our animation is going to play to. And go to the properties. Click your circle again to get the, color, get the circle properties up. And then click the color effect tab in our properties menu, where it says style change it to alpha. This will give you a sliding scale. Now alpha is at 100% so it's the alpha channel which covers all the colors is fully visible. Slide it down to zero for complete disappearing. Then when we play our animation our shape just fades out. Now you can do it as an animation or you can set the alpha for something to consistently be at which at whatever you would like it to be at. So if for example I was to insert a frame here and change my alpha back up but stop at about halfway through then it would fade to there and we will insert another frame here and Let's, let's just add another layer in. Go back. Let's insert a blank keyframe there. So we've got nothing on this first bit, on this layer. Insert a blank keyframe. Let's put a square so that it sits over here somewhere. That's just going to stay there. And we're going to pick somewhere. Let's pick here where we've got our transparency at 50 and move it there, but that'll probably wiggle around a bit and then we'll just move it so that it goes over the square put the square behind our circle so we can see the difference back to the start and then we'll play our animation so it'll fade out, fade back in sit there for a little bit and then move and you can see it's transparent and we now have a darker blue square and that's all there is to making our shapes transparent and fade in and out in flash now that you know how to do the transparency in the animations you can take that and add it into animations within animations which we've looked at before and create something new and add more interest. For example, we can add a ghost to a picture. And then the ultimate aim after that would be once the ghost has faded away and disappeared, our Land Rover would drive on and drive off the screen.